What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and in today's lesson we're going to be learning about desert plants. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. Introducing our first competitor, the cactus. This has got to be the meanest plant out there. I mean, just look at it. It's literally covered in spines. It's as if it's saying, don't touch me. Don't even look at me. And that's exactly what the spines are for. These spines prevent animals from eating the cactus, but they also prevent the cactus from losing water. These spines reflect sunlight off of the cactus, just like tiny little mirrors. This helps to keep the cactus nice and cool and stop it from losing any further water. <laughs> If there's ever dew in the air or the air is foggy, the spines can even catch water for the cactus to absorb later to keep it hydrated and alive in this extreme environment. Beneath the cactus are the roots, but instead of growing deep down, they spread out as far as possible, just like a spider web. This is so that when it rains, they can catch as much water as possible, just like a spider web catches flies or insects. Beneath the cactus's spines is its thick stem. The stem is waxy, just like a raincoat, but instead of being designed to keep water out, it's designed to keep water in to stop the cactus drying up and dying. This is because it doesn't rain much in deserts, so when it does, the cactus has to quickly absorb as much water as it can so it can last to the next time that it rains. Desert? I thought they said dessert. Next up we have the date palm. This beautiful plant is once again covered in spines to protect it from wild animals. Its giant leaves grow fast so that animals cannot eat them and it also protects the rest of the plant from the sun. Unlike the cactus, its roots not only spread out far and wide but they also grow deep into the ground. Another plant that is similarly adapted is called aloe vera. Aloe vera is a succulent plant, which comes from the Latin word succus, meaning juice or sap. This is because succulents store lots of sticky water inside their waxy leaves, just like a cactus. The acacia tree, like this one behind me, also have very deep roots and are covered in painful thorns. The acacia tree and stinging ants have also formed a pretty awesome team. The acacia tree provides a home for the stinging ants to live in and in return, they sting any animal which tries to eat the acacia tree. To survive in the desert, plants need to be adapted to extreme conditions. Cactus and succulents are often covered in spines, have shallow roots that spread out wide, and a waxy layer to prevent water loss. Date palms and acacia trees are also covered in spines and have roots that are not only wide, but also deep. And so we've come to the end of our video about desert plants. Enjoyed learning about prickly plants and deadly deserts? Then why not check out my video on spiky hedgehogs or learn how to cook some Viking food out in the wild. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more cool and interesting educational videos. Hit that bell notification button to be notified each time I post a brand new video. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.